Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's continue our style concept series, where I make concepts about styles that could be added to the game, and you guys submit your own ideas. So, today, we'll be taking a look at the style of the Mexican boxer you all have chosen, Juan Garcia, or as I call it, the high guard style. Thanks to everyone who voted in the polls, and without further delay, let's get into it. The high guard style is a balanced, boxer-puncher type style, excelling at both defense and offense. Its description reads, the ferocity of a former champion can only be tempered by a hardened defense. Your guard is sturdy, able to recover quickly if timed properly, and you have great mobility and power. However, you must keep in mind that with your guard that high, nothing is protecting you from a well-placed counter. Ultimate, calculated assault. Soon, I'll discuss the gimmick this style possesses, but before that, let's get into the pros and cons and the attacks. Moving on to its stats. High guard has a solid list of pros, including good dashes, good light attack power, comparable to smashes, and it also has a stronger block. It wouldn't be as strong as turtle's block, but it would be stronger than basics by a bit. Turtle's block should be around twice as strong, so I'd say high guard would be around 1.25 times as strong. It has another pro that I'll get into when we talk about the gimmick. Now for its cons. The main thing to worry about is that this style takes extra counter damage, which will be comparable to hands low. In his fight with Mashiba, he suffered from this weakness to counters later on in the fight, because since his guard is so high up to defend his head, his lower body is practically begging to be targeted. He does possess a few more cons, but I'll go into those when we get to the gimmick. Moving on to its attacks, I'd imagine the lights being a flurry of hooks coming from all directions, kind of like the ones Charge has. He used these hooks to constantly pressure Mashiba when they fought, so I think they'd look similar. The two heavy attacks this style would have would be the left hook and right overhead he used against Mashiba. It was said he was a very balanced fighter in the manga, so all of these attacks would be similar to basic in speed and range. These attacks will hopefully make his kit pretty solid, and fit that hybrid type of character well. Moving on to the gimmick. The gimmick I decided to give this style is one that was in the PS3 game, and one I feel would not only be very strong, but also require patience and skill. That is, of course, perfect guarding. You might be asking yourself, well what even is perfect guarding? Well, the way it worked in the PS3 game is that, when you put your guard up right as the opponent is about to hit you, the attack won't deal any damage to you through chip, you instantly gain back some of your block meter, and the opponent can't combo off the hit. This makes perfect guarding a very strong defensive tool, but it takes absolutely perfect timing, or else it won't work. High guard's gimmick will work the exact same way. Basically, if you block the opponent's punch right as they are about to hit you, you'll gain the following benefits. First, you won't take any chip from the hit, meaning that if you block a punch that would otherwise knock you down with the perfect guard, you can pretty much guarantee that you'll be able to recover. Second, you'll automatically regenerate 10% of your total block meter back, making sure you can keep your guard up for a lot longer. And lastly, third, this hit will count as a whiff, meaning that your opponent won't be able to combo into it, and will have to swing again. However, this is extremely broken as is, so I'll be adding in some drawbacks as well, just to make things a little more fair. The first drawback is regarding your block regeneration. To balance out the instant regeneration perfect guarding can do, there will be a limiter placed on them. This limiter will be similar to the way the perfect dodge limiter works, where if no one has thrown a punch in a while, you won't be able to perfect guard. This makes it more difficult to use it passively, as if you try to, you won't be able to perfect guard. Another drawback will be that if the opponent does break your block, you'll take bonus damage if they hit you while you are stunned. This will look sort of like how shotgun's barrage does, where while you are stunned, if they hit you, you'll take a significant amount of damage. This will hopefully make going for perfect guards more risky, and make it take more skill with a high payoff. As for the ultimate, I based it off the fight he had with Mashiba in the manga. Its description reads, throw a punch at the opponent's guard, but instead of pulling your hand back, 
you grab the opponent's fist and shove it away, splitting their guard open long enough for you to throw a devastating body blow, quickly followed by your signature right overhead. This will deal normal ultimate damage. As for this style's titles, here's what I went with. The first is Resurgent. This symbolizes how he didn't let losing the title to Rosario get to his head, and how he bounced back from the loss very quickly. Next is Immovable, to symbolize how sturdy his high guard is, even when he's defending against attacks like flickers. And finally, Hybrid, to symbolize how well balanced of a fighter he is, able to switch between aggression and defense. And that's about it for this concept. What do you guys think? Is it good, or is it too strong? Maybe you think it's weak? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, that's all from me, see ya.